We're at the magnificent Sydney Olympic Stadium for the official opening ceremony here, which is traditionally an exciting and extravagant affair, and I'm sure that this will be no different. Let's take you down there now. What's up everybody, Sulix here. Hope you'll enjoy this Sydney 2012 tour. Okay, so let's go to the options, game setup, difficulty, hard of course, y'all know I ain't fucking around. Legend will be available after getting all gold medals, but it works only for arcade mode, we're not playing it. No, let me say something in Polish. Słuchajcie, wiem, że chuj pisze się przez CH, ale są tylko trzy miejsca, więc musiałem wpisać tak, a nie inaczej. Darujcie sobie ortograficzne komentarze. You can compare my player's name to English bad word dick, but without the letter C. Now we've got event select menu. From the left, 100 meters sprint, 110 meters hurdles, javelin, hammer, triple jump, high jump, skid shooting, 100 meters freestyle swimming, 10 meter platform diving, super heavyweight weight lifting, Olympic sprint cycling, kayak K1 slalom. These three squares are events progress to the Olympic Games. There are three stages to complete in every event. After completing the stage, one square will turn green. Of course, you can save the game here. There are eight slots. Should be enough. You can save the game in every moment. And the last one, go to Olympic Games. We can't go there now. It will unlock after completing at least one event, but if you want to unlock Legend difficulty and be fully satisfied, go there after completing all events. Okay, so let's move on. This is stage name. After completing the stage we gain access to the next one. We can easily switch between them. Like I said, there are three stages. Open trials, invitation event, the championship. There's also Olympic class. This is the fourth, last stage. But we can train here only because Olympic games are separated. These things are exercises. In this case, these are treadmill, bench press and starting pistol, which is unavailable. Third exercise will be unlocked always in championship training stage, no matter which event we're playing. The main goal of this game is completing exercises to gain skill, muscles, morale, etc. Practice makes perfect, right? So get better and win competitions. These stats are here. Ok, back to exercises. After completing the exercise you'll be judged. There are three grades. Pest, Good Pest and Excellent Pest. Notice that each grade gives different amount of stats. So Excellent Pest gives more than Good Pest and Good Pest gives more than Pest. Let's see that again. See? My advice is Always complete exercises with the highest grade to max out your player's stats. But, after completing all exercises, you must qualify in event arena to gain these stats. Otherwise, you'll get nothing. Now look closely. This is before event arena. And that's after. See the difference? Stats change color to purple. It means you have these stats and won't lose them. Again before and after. Notice that qualifying in the event arena gives us a little morale boost. You may not know but your player is faster now. You'll notice these changes while playing through. Now all we have to do is go to qualify and win the competition to get to the next stage. Good luck! Sydney 2000 controls are very simple. We use only 5 keys on our keyboard and these are Enter and Arrows. I will explain what they do in every event. First is Men's 100 meter sprint. Press any key to skip the scenes. Now don't press anything, wait for a pistol shot. After the shot press left or right arrow as fast as possible to start running. Don't sleep at the start, be focused, be quick. Good start is very important. But be careful! If you press arrows before the shot, you'll make false start. In Olympic Games you can false start only once. Second one equals disqualification. So watch out there, right? Let's slow it down a bit. 
Now very important message. To build a power press left and right arrows. Left, then right, then left. Right, left, right, left, right and on and on as fast as you can. Do not press left and right at the same time. I won't repeat it later, so remember that. That's how we build up power in almost every event. And this is power bar. The faster you tap the buttons, the faster your player is. Before the finish line press enter to bend forward. This is very helpful when you're running head to head with some other competitor. Press it in the right time and you'll be the winner. Ok, that's it. Next event is... Men's 110 meter hurdles. Everything is just like in sprint, plus few jumps over hurdles. I'll tell you my way to jump clearly. Don't fall start, now focus. When your player is near that position, press enter to jump over the hurdle. Remember that position. Good timing is the key to clear jump. Oh, I almost forgot. Build power all the time. Do not stop tapping arrows while pressing enter. And again. Position is the same. As you can see, he always jumps from the left leg. And the same position again, and the left leg also. If you're interested in this sport a bit, you should know that in real life, Ronald should jump always from the same leg. So, after the jump, he makes 4 steps before next one. Watch closely. Jump. 1, 2, 3, 4, and jump. 1, 2, 3, 4. Always from the same leg. Press enter too late or too soon and you're not gonna make it. Keep practicing the jumps to master them. And don't forget to bend forward before the finish line. That's all, next event is... Women's Javelin event. Building power as usual. It's harder to build big power in this event than in others. So tap as fast as you can. When the angle bar appears, stop tapping. Your power is safe. Let the lady run a bit further. Now, hold enter to raise the angle. Of course, 45 degrees are the best angle. Release enter to stop raising and throw. Power at the start is very important. Bigger power, better score. 72 meters. Why I told about letting Lady run a bit further? Simple. In previous throw at the end her legs were just before the line. Now I show the throw without letting her run. Watch where are her legs. She could do few steps more and get better score. Assume that power is the same in both throws. What's the score? 66 meters. And of course crossing the line equals fall. Feel the angle bar. Don't release enter too fast. Or too late. And don't be sad if you fucked up, you have 3 attempts, the best throw counts. And the next event... Men's hammer throwing. Build power as usual, you've got 3 attempts also and the best throw counts. Bigger power, further throw. Focus on that blue, green and red bar. In this moment you can stop tapping arrows, your power is stored. Big orange arrow shows in which direction your hammer will go. At this moment you should press and hold enter to start building angle. And when the white slider reach that position, you should release enter. If you've timed it, your angle should be 45 degrees. Perfect throw. Add big power to that and you have new world record. As you can see I released enter too fast. It's up to you how you will release enter. While watching angle bar or throw bar. Beginnings are hard. If something go wrong, you can throw the hammer out of the arena. It's fall, no throw then. Or throw it into the fence, which means fall too. I know it's hard for you all now, but keep practicing. Okay, next one is... Men's triple jump. Build power as usual. Bigger power, further jump. Three attempts and the best jump counts. At this moment, press and hold enter to raise the angle. Release to stop raising. Try to get 45 degrees. Your power is stored. Now all you have to do is press enter to set up angles for next two jumps. Press it only once for each angle. Do not hold enter. That's it, simple. All you can fuck up in this event is... Jump too soon, far away from wooden board and the fall line. Look how big is gap between here and board. Jump will be few meters shorter than previous attempt. Almost 3 meters shorter. You can also cross the fall line. Blue one and perform fall, no jump. If you know you fucked up crossing fall line, having quick power or setting bar angle, don't play. Let the angle raise to max at the next jump and your player will give up. It will save some seconds. Next. Women's high jump. 
you've got 3 attempts to clear each height. After clearing the height, you decide to quit or to jump higher. Build power as usual. At this moment, press and hold enter to jump. I jumped too high here, so focus on her legs now. At this moment, when the calves will be near to the bar, release enter to straight up the legs. Don't press enter too soon or too late, and don't just press it. Hold it. Always watch the legs, don't release enter too late. You can touch the bar and clear the height. Fall is only when the bar falls. Instead of jumping 3 cm higher with the next jump, which is boring, set up bar on some challenging height. Attention! Once you raise up the bar you can't lower it, so be careful with that. How high can you jump? Rule is simple. Watch closely how big is the gap between her back and the bar while jumping over. In this case, assuming that the power will be the same, you won't clear next height. But in this case the gap is huge, you can raise up the bar even quarter meter higher. But remember, higher jumps require more power. Next is... Men skeet shooting. Press enter to call for a target. Now you can move crosshair with arrows. When crosshair turns black, press enter to shoot. You have only one bullet per skeet. It's difficult because skeet speeds are different. Sometimes you can press enter just before crosshair change color and hit the target, and sometimes not. You have two bullets when you've got to shoot two targets, but be careful. You have shoot them in correct order. You must hit skid from the house number one first, then hit skid from house number two. Otherwise you'll get zero points for incorrect order. Play few times to feel the movement of crosshair. 1 point for correct hit. Player with highest score wins. Next one is... Women's 100 meter freestyle swimming. This is very stupid event for me as a player. All you have to do is build power all the time. Watch out for false start. You will have to tap arrows about a minute. I don't know what technique are you use to build power, but I use only one hand for that. In halfway my fingers and hand are hot. Muscles and tendons need a rest. Of course you can pause the game and rest, but it's annoying. I don't wanna wait, I wanna play! So tapping is not that fast as at the beginning, you know what I mean? Event arena, then qualify. You'll become weaker and weaker with every next run. So I suggest to change event while playing this one and come back later to continue. At this moment you can press enter or not to flip. I didn't notice difference, it's up to you. Same thing with finishing, enter won't do a shit so just keep tapping. Ok that's it for now, last 4 events will be in second part of my Sydney 2000 walkthrough. As usual I'm sorry for every mistake I did and said. But if you've noticed some mistake, written or spoken, write to me immediately. I can't change the voice but I can easily edit subtitles. I will be also very grateful if you could translate subtitles to your language. Wanna help? Right, hope you'll like added voice instead of pausing and reading. But if you'll want me to shut the fuck up, just write it in comments. Thanks for watching and to be continued. Peace!